Hello my beautiful love goods and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'm building another tiny house and uh, this one is a underground tiny house. I just kind of got in the mood to do a little space that is kind of tucked away and kind of secluded and hidden and uh, yeah I like this a lot. It's so cute. I, I really like it. It's um, it's just an underground modern tiny house that I, uh, I, I, I'm like kind of impressed with, like I'm kind of proud of. So yeah, you can find this on the gallery by searching my username, Lukey Dean and the hashtag Lukey. Um, it has enough space, I believe for two Sims and I'm like kind of proud of it. It's not, when I say tiny house in this regard, it's a little bit stretching that like I feel like with the Sims 4 when you build a tiny house you kind of have to go a little bit bigger than you would think because just because it's the Sims and it's a video game and things aren't always to scale but um, it's a little bit bigger than some other tiny houses but um, it doesn't seem like that if you know what I mean like it's it's a pretty small space still it's just I made it a little bit more spacious so that there could be some more light that's the main reason so yeah, um, but it does have enough room for two Sims, and it's uh, heckin' cute. I'm, like, super into it. I love it so much. Uh, I, um, yeah, like, when I finished it, I was like, wow, I feel so good about this build. Like, it was just so fun, but, um, yeah, I wanted to go for, like, m like my, my typical modern style that I kind of have been enjoying a lot lately is just using, like, a lot of black accents mixed with wood. Um, the exterior has this like really deep rich colored wood and then the interior has like a very light colored wood it's like very like a pale beige and it's very nice it's like it's like not a harsh contrast either because you know sometimes I would build like black and white builds and it would be a little bit too harsh on the eyes but this is like nice and it's like kind of subtle and I don't know um but yeah, it has like a nice little sized kitchen, a really nice bathroom that I'm like so incredibly impressed by. And I totally forgot to put plants in the bathroom window thing. I'll, I'll get to that later. Um, and then the upstairs bit, um, there is like a little place for like some coats and some shoes and uh, like a little cat thing. Um, I didn't put a litter box in this build. I totally forgot about that. Um, but yeah, if you if you download this and you do want to have like pets, you know, um, just put a litter box because that's the only thing I forgot is the litter box. I, I don't own, I haven't, I haven't had a cat since I was like really young. So I always forget that. But yeah, but like the upstairs is like the little entrance way. Uh, that way it wasn't just like, you know, because like, you know, normally when I would build tiny houses that are like underground like this, I would just do like a you know, direct staircase down into the ground, have it be very open. But I just wanted to try something different. And uh, I liked this a lot because like, this looks like, I don't know, it looks like more like a house if I do it this way, I guess. So yeah. Um, but yeah. Uh, and then there's also a little courtyard garden area. Um, it's, it's pretty simple. It's just got like a little eating space and um, a barbecue and stuff just in case your Sims want to like eat outside and something like that. But yeah, I did like those little like, they're called light wells. Uh, whenever there's like really big buildings, like really old buildings used to do this, but um, they would have like a bits in the building that were like completely open to the outside so that you could still get some sunlight and some natural light and air into the, um, into the center of the building, uh, particularly bigger old buildings. And, um, that's kind of like an idea off of that, except it's literally just for light in this case. Um, I did one for the bathroom and, uh, I forgot to put plants in it because I was going to put some like plants in it just to kind of make it look a little bit more lush and everything. But that's the only thing I forgot. I feel kind of like disappointed, but, um, also something else that I want to critique myself on really quickly is that I put too many lights in the living room. I really need to like dial it back when it comes to lights in the living space. I think that having all these ceiling lights is good for, it's good for like gameplay purposes, I think, but I really like there being a little less light in the living room so that it's like more 
like cozier, I guess. So that's the only thing I wish I would change about this or would have changed, um, or done differently. That's how I'm going to say it. But yeah. Um, but nonetheless, I absolutely adore this house so much. I love the decor. It's very simple, but like, it's just so, I don't know. It's like, I, I don't think I would necessarily live in something like this myself, but I do love this style of building. It's so me, but, um, but yeah, there's a kitchen and then there's this little, uh, office space right next to it that I'm really impressed, impressed. Why do I keep saying impressed? Proud of, um, I'm impressed of myself, I guess, but, um, I eventually use move objects and I shrink down, uh, a shelf, like a bookshelf from city living that like goes next to that um, like on the back of that desk and it looks kind of like a built-in and uh, if you would like to know what this shelf is that I'm using right now uh, it is a custom content shelf by Picture Amoeba or Picture Amoeba or however you pronounce that name um, I will leave a link in the description down below uh, I actually tweeted about this yesterday but but it's like the most useful CC item that I've ever used ever um, I obviously don't keep it in the build but it's super handy because it's a shelf that you can basically put any objects on because sometimes you try to place decor items on the shelves in The Sims 4 and they don't fit. And so you want to kind of l get them to be on those shelves by using move objects and like lifting them up, up and everything, but that doesn't always work either. So this shelf allows me to um, like very easily like you'll you'll see me do it in a bit again but it allows me to line up those items perfectly with that shelf like you can see the see there i'm doing it right there it's it's so incredibly handy for clutter and just making something look really lived in like so many things attach themselves to that shelf as well unlike the regular shelves that we have in the game so yeah it's so handy i definitely definitely highly recommend you check out that download it's so great um and if you want to keep it in your build and you don't want to worry about doing the what doing uh doing it what am i trying to say if you don't want to you know do that move objects thing where you kind of like you know, use your mouse beneath the table and like use alt and just stuff like that. It's kind of complicated to explain. If you just want to keep the actual shelf, there is an invisible swatch on that shelf. Like it just goes away, which is super awesome. And it's still there and you can just change it back to red if you want to actually see it. It's awesome. So yeah, definitely check it out. Um, it's really great for cluttering up shelves and just all sorts of things. It's, it's great. Uh, I love it so much, but, um, yeah. But, um, I, I, I'm totally like at a loss for words now. <laughs> I feel like I've t said pretty much everything about this build at this point. Um, but yeah, how is everyone? I hope everyone is doing well. Um, I am, you know, again, I'm doing pretty good. I'm slowly getting through a, you know, breakup. So, you know, obviously drama in my life, but Hey, um, I'm, I'm getting somewhere better. It's, it's all good. It's all good. Um, but yeah, I've been playing a lot of video games lately for myself. I've been playing so much Overwatch. It's kind of ridiculous. Like, it's like my other passion now. Like, it's so addictive. Um, I've been actually, like, because for the longest time, I really just played a few characters. But I've really kind of pushed myself to just start playing with more characters for fun. And I'm having a lot more fun with it. Like, it's such a fun game. And... I feel like there's so many people that take it so seriously because, you know, it's okay to take it seriously because it's like an eSport at this point, but it's just, you know, um, I really just ha like having fun with it and just like playing around and just like, like, oh, oh, y'all, honey, like, if you don't know, I know this is not Sims related, but oh my goodness, uh, I was playing Overwatch though and I did an arcade match because there's like the quick play, which is just like your it's just like normal gameplay pretty much it's just like you get you, you get like matched up with people around your level and stuff like that and then there's the arcade section where it's got like really fun like different types of you know game modes and it's super fun and they change a lot too so you got like you have a lot of variety and um one of them is 1v1 deathmatch and this one was mystery heroes in a way like no no it wasn't mystery heroes it was um limited hero selection so I could only pick between like a few characters and 
you know, the, the two, the, as well as the other player, uh, we only had like a few to choose from. So, and I played one yesterday and I won, I won. And I was so happy. I was like, girl, I'm so proud of myself. Uh, I'm level 50 something on there and I beat like a level 80 person. I was just like, oh girl, yes, I did it. Uh huh. I did good. Um, and like, I was just, I was just like so impressed with myself. I was like shaking too. I, I would, I have not felt that in a video game for so long and it felt so good. Like I was shaking. My hand was shaking. I remember I, you could, there was like a play of the game where I, um, like it showed me me showed me having play of the game, obviously, because I won, and, um, I was playing Junkrat, and I was, like, you could actually see where my hand was shaking while I was playing. I was, like, oh, like, I was just, it was great. So, I normally stray away from games that kind of cause me to feel like that, because I don't really like that anxiety, but this was, like, good. It was, like, not, like, scary. It was just, like, oh my god, oh my god, like, it was just, it was great. I, I highly recommend Overwatch. Um, I have never, I've never played like legitimate first person shooter games before in my life. Like it was just never something that I was like attracted to or intrigued by ever since I was young. Um, like I was like, I, I basically played the Sims and Pokemon as a kid. Like that was basically it. Like occasionally I would play like some other games, but this, that was it, you know, that and Spiral Year of the Dragon on PlayStation one, which is like one of my favorite games of all time. Um, but yeah, uh, it's great. I highly recommend it. Uh, it's, oh, it's so addictive. It's so great. I just, I want to play it more. So yeah. Um, but anyway, uh, see, I'm doing that again. I'm doing that again with that shelf, uh, and the sink in the bathroom. It's so great. I just love it so much. Oh, it's so good. Uh, just, just download it. Just use it. It's so great. But, um, anyway, I have talked about so much already, <laughs> but yeah, um, let me know what other video games that you like playing. Um, it would be kind of great to see, uh, to see like the variety on the channel, I guess, not the channel, um, in the comments, like, like, you know, yeah, we all like, I, I mean, I guess most of us play the Sims, but, um, you know, are there any other games that you're like really passionate about? I obviously love Overwatch like a lot, but, um, I'm also like really like wanting to get back into playing Pokemon one day. It's, I, I kind of got out of it for a long time cause you know, I, I, I don't own the new systems they're very expensive and I, I cannot justify that purchase. I, there's no way I could afford it. So, but yeah, like I would love to get the new games one day. Um, cause they, they say, like, I don't know, like a, there's like a lot of like mixed opinions on them, but they do seem pretty cute. So, um, it's, they're definitely worth a play, but oh my gosh, honey, this bathroom, <sighs> Like, I love it so much. Like, it's already over. But, like, oh, my goodness. That bathroom, I don't think I've ever built a bathroom that is nicer in The Sims 4. I absolutely love it. It's so pretty. It's just so zen and so calm. And, like, it doesn't seem like an underground, like, house, like, bathroom. You know what I mean? Um, but, yeah. Uh, we're getting closer to the end of the video. Uh, I rambled a lot today. I guess I just feel better than I thought I was. But, yeah. Um, do let me know uh, what types of video games that you all like to play aside from The Sims. Uh, it'd be kind of cool to hear about that. And, uh, also, uh, be sure to check out my Instant Gaming uh, link. Um, Instant Gaming is a website where you can buy uh, game codes uh, for cheap. So, they're, like, really, like, affordable. Um, and yeah, like the thing is, is that it's like a website where they like buy them in bulk and then they resell them for like at a discount. And so they will run out of these sales eventually if you, you know, don't get in there and get it because they have so many sales on the Sims 4 right now. Like it's ridiculous ridiculous. It's so good. Oh my goodness. Like you all, you can get like expansion packs for like $15 right now. So it's like super great. Um, I'm, I'm, I legitimately like love this website. Like I actually use it sometimes. And, uh, if you use my link, you can get, um, like you actually don't really get any savings, but I get a little kickback. So it's a good help for me. And, uh, you can also check out my Kofi page if you want to tip me and support the channel there. It'd be really amazing if you did that. It's like so helpful and it, and just thank you all so much for the people that have donated. And I haven't went on there and thanked anyone yet 
for a while because I have to like log back in and it's kind of annoying and I just, yeah, but anyway, I'm, I'm done rambling at this point, but yeah, I hope you all enjoyed the video. I really, really enjoyed building it and recording it myself. It was just, it was so fun and it was so therapeutic and relaxing just to kind of clutter it up and make it look nice and neat and clean and everything. But yeah, that's basically it. Thank you all so, so very much for watching. Stay weird and beware of the Nargles. Last year we went to the end. I remember you smile reflecting the light. We didn't care what tomorrow would bring. It was only right now the sun was alive. I can still see you walk down the shore. Only in you know the secrets kept me waiting for the answers. The answers. Somebody